Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. Uh, today I wanted to use my one pound mold and I wanted to make a drop swirl. Now this is one pound, so you can use half clear base, half white base, um, whatever you choose to do, you can do it however you want it. But I'm using less of the white base, base which is the ghost, uh, goat, goat's milk. <laughs> and uh, so I'm using more of the clear base because I'm going to make two colors out of that. The first color is going to be uh, a silk blue and a pretty glitter. I'm going to mix these together. Again, this is going to go, the silver is going to go in the white. And this purple will be another color that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and the fragrance, sorry, is going to be marshmallow. And it does smell good. It's, it's, it smells very much like vanilla. So because of that, I don't know if there's vanillin in here or not. So just as a precaution, I'm going to be uh, putting it into the darker color. Because vanillin, or in other words, vanilla, can turn, you know, your soap brown. Um, it can just dis discolor it. And you want to put it in the darkest color that you have. Um, Okay, so I'm going to start melting these down, 30 second bursts. After 30 seconds, uh, I'm going to check it and stir out the clumps, stir out as much as I can. And then if I, you know, can't manually stir them out anymore, I'm going to put them back in the microwave and I'm going to repeat this process until fully melted. I would say this will take me about four to five minutes. We'll be right back. We're back. And I went ahead and added the glitter and the mica and we have our goat's milk with the silver in it you can't really see it and we have our purple here I did add the fragrance oil already into the purple very important to mix it and incorporate it fully the fragrance and the uh, micas Otherwise, like mica, you'll just have mica spots when it sets. Okay, let me check the temperature on these. I'm guessing about 130-ish. 129, 133, and that's 121. All right, we're going to start the pour. Okay, I'm going to first go in with the purple, and again, I already uh, did my mold with rubbing alcohol and glitter. Okay, I'm going to spray for alcohol and get out the uh, bubbles. Now I'm going to go in with the white. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Okay, now this, as you can see how gelatinous this is, it really got hard quick. So I'm going to put this back in just for maybe 10 seconds, not long. And then we'll give it a good stir and I'll be ready to pour. Hope it penetrates. Yeah, it is. Now, I like to do white every other layer. Because if I combine these two one after another, they could um, really blend in too much. Get those air bubbles out. Very getting, it's getting really thick on me. Really hoping the colors don't muddy. I'm 
going to do another layer of white. And again, I'm going to put this in the microwave here for just a few seconds. I'm almost done. You're going to bed? No, I said I came down to the bathroom, but I'm going back upstairs. Oh, all right. Gotcha. Really getting nervous that these colors are going to blend. We'll see. Top it off with the white. I'm going to do a little swirl. Maybe not. I don't want to muddy those colors together. I'll just do pokes here and there. Okay. Okay, that's it. Um, we will see you. I'm going to let this set. And I would say for a good two hours. And um, I put them in the fridge myself. Do not put them in the freezer. Um, you'll ruin your soap. Refrigerator is fine. Uh, but most people do it room temperature. But I just prefer it in the refrigerator. Thanks so much, and we'll be back in about two to three hours. We are back for the cut. Okay, so here's what would have been the bottom. Like if I pour, the, I'm pouring this way, this is to the bottom. So you can see the glitter. Um, the reason it did sink to the bottom was because it's not a suspended base. If it was a suspended base, then that would be it would be suspended within the blue. But as a result, it went all to the bottom. But I really, some went to the sides. But I really do think this is very, very pretty. Well, that's not easy. Wow. I think when I poked with the, uh, wow, with the skewers, you could see where it came down. You could see where I poked through with the chopsticks. There's the bottom. Man. I hope everybody's having a good day today.
Very interesting. It's pretty. So far, these are straight cuts. It's just really hard when you have issues with your hands. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really nice. So pretty. You can see the blue, the glitter throughout. Some here. Just randomly. And here's the last piece. That was the back side, side of it. And there you go. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. And if you liked it, if you could please uh, press the like button. And uh, subscribe if you can. If you haven't already, if you subscribe, then you will be notified um, as to when my videos will be released. You'll be the first to know. And if you drop a comment below, I do like to interact with you guys. So I'd appreciate that as well. So I hope you have a great day and thank you so much.